Hi, everybody. Dave here to cover Lecture 4. In this lecture, I'll be going through Design and Construction of Food Premises and Food Pests and Their Control. This lecture will introduce you to the construction of food premises and pest control. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to demonstrate an appreciation of the standards required in a hygienic kitchen and working environment, state the three properties required of an internal structure, recognize the signs of pest infestation, and know what action to take. All food premises and kitchens must be designed, constructed, and equipped to minimize the risk of contamination. So, all ceilings, walls, doors, windows, and floors must be constructed with these three properties in mind. They must be impervious or non-absorbent, easily cleanable and durable or long-lasting and solid. You must store and dispose of waste in the correct manner, as bins and waste are reservoirs of contamination. Internal waste containers must be easily cleanable, emptied frequently throughout the day. No accumulations must be allowed to build up outside the bins. With external containers, there must not be any accumulations outside the bin. The bin must be stored on an impervious base, such as concrete or tarmac. They must be easily cleanable, have tight-fitting lids to prevent pest access, and emptied regularly by a contractor. Let's finish this video with a look at dates. Use by is a food safety date. When a food product is past its use by date, it must be disposed of. It must be disposed of by 11.59 p.m. on that date. Best before is a food quality date. After the best before date, the supplier cannot guarantee its quality, but you can use it after the best before date. F-I-F-O is first in first out. In the next video, I will be covering pests and pest control. Thanks for watching. See you next time.